Hey, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Inks and I'm from IGS Electronics. Today we're going to be continuing with Schneider Electric's uh, M221 PLC. And today we're going to be progressing with the TM3 TI4 analog input card. And we'll be checking out today the temperature, uh, term thermocouples inputs. Uh, so uh, this card, particular card itself, as I mentioned in previous videos, I'm not sure you watched it, can process a hell of a lot of different types of signals. And when it comes down to a temperature, you can process all most common uh, TC type of uh, inputs and uh, PT100 and I100 and 1000 and 1000 as well. So it's pretty wide range what it can do. And uh, for what I've been testing out now, I'm look at it, it is really good. So there's no need for the converters. The card itself is, is built in converter. So you can, you, you are able to, if you want to read out just, just, uh, just the signal itself. There's a normal mode you can choose, or you can go straight away into the uh, conversion to Fahrenheit or uh, Celsius. Uh, so uh, it's got all these options in it, and it's really, really good. So that's what we're doing today. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So for the purpose of uh, this video, we're going to be checking out both of the signals. One is going to be is, is this guy in here, which is our a, uh, a PT100, and this one in here, which is our ungrounded uh, K-type TC uh, uh, TC type of thermocouple. That literally is very simple, very cheap, basic thermocouple. So uh, when it comes down to wiring itself, we're going to be using a uh, channel, uh, uh, well, in our case, a 1.1 uh, and channel 1.2, but in uh, in 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 a, in a like basic terms, that'll be channel 2 and a 3. So, uh, and as you can see in here, right on the side, it's got like a BBA, then it's got BBA, 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 that's pretty much, that's for the RTD to more or less indicate to you where you how you need to wire your a, a pt100 so when it comes down to pt100 uh, temperature probes most cases you will have a some form of coloring coming with it and as you can see now i got one red and two blues so uh, if you're not familiar how they are wired within the actual inside the probe itself these blues more or less meet up in the middle so uh in many in, in in some cases you don't even need this uh, this this uh, this third uh, wire but in our case, we are going to use it. Let me just move this. So, uh, and as you can see in here, you can see a B and a B. So, uh, if it usually just a B, your Bs are going to be the, the colors that are the same, and A obviously is going to be your color that is different. So, it's quite easy to understand from, uh, for this controller which is which. So, and, uh, and I, I literally tested uh, one way or another. Both of them, it doesn't matter which way they both, uh, the blues are going in into these ports in here so uh, same reading is going to come out either way so and plus as you can see my a is going into port in here which is my red one when it comes down to a, uh, a tc type of thermocouples uh, you ignore this side of it it's just a basically uh, as you can see in here plus and a minus in my case it, uh, my one my plus for my thermocouple is marked more or less like a red line on it so that will go into a uh, I, uh, I2 plus and uh, my uncolored one's going to be I2 minus. That's pretty much it. So, uh, so the thermocouple more or less is wired in and all you need to do is really to go into configurations and set it all up. So that's exactly what we're going to do now. So let's jump on a laptop and let's have a look at it. All right, there we are. So uh, let's jump on to our card. Remember, this is all configured before in a previous video. So we're not going to go through this configuration. So let's click on our card. And click on the terminals that we work working double click on them and it's going to open you this window from there on as you can see there remember i said the uh, the channel 1.1 is going to be our pt100 so let's call them a pt100 and in here what we need to do we need to select what kind of input we're going to be using and we are going to say pt100 so in here as you can see you is already automatically at the scopes into celsius so we will be reading out at the the temperature in a form of a digit which you're going to see in a minute so uh usually how we read temperature is like 20.1 20.2 20.3 so that's like a one point system and it's going to be reading out in 100 so so 20 let's say 21 degrees is going to be 210 and so on so on so this is pretty much it gives you the range in here as well what range you can work with which is uh which you can't change because it's already preset by schneider 
and in here you can select a uh, unit and if you if you want it to just be normal just read out the normal data which is not already con converted you can do so as well and also you can go into Fahrenheit if you wish to so uh, that's going to set up for that uh, the, I don't think you can change that now that's only for that and uh, I don't think you can edit units as well so same thing we're going to do for K K type temperature probe and also we're going to say, oh, what, uh, uh, well, temperature is this one, yeah, K type, ten, K -type temper couple. And again, as you can see, at a, as the scope straightway goes into the Celsius, and as you can see, the ranges are quite a bit larger. So, uh, and that's it. Your uh, system is more or less a setup. Let me just remove that one. And let's click apply. And we are good to go. So let me go into program, uh, set up the program, uh, and uh, we go from there. There we are, so what I want to have in there, I created a, again a very basic ranks with the move instruction and as you can see in here I will be using a, a IW 1.1 which is my PT100 uh, input and we'll be sending that data in memory for 4 and also the same is going to be for HMI, uh, sorry for the uh, K-type which is the uh, IW 1.2 which is my third channel on my card which you can uh, see right there well you can't actually see it so but it's right in the you already pretty much know where that is so and that's it so both of these has been pumped in already and let's have a look at what that readout this is going to be so what you should be getting it so let's log in so where are my per thermal couples somewhere down there so uh, the reason I'm not showing you how I'm writing up the program because it will take up the video and, and a lot of people already know how to do this. Guys, if you don't know how to do this, so uh, do check out the uh, do check out the previous videos. So as you can see in there, I can see that my thermocouple, my K, is actually been dropped on the floor, so hence the temperature is quite a bit lower. But as you can see, the readout is uh, the for the TPT100 is 20.9. That's 21 degrees more or less in uh, my uh, workshop. That's pretty, pretty accurate. And my K-type is showing 18.7 degrees. A little bit different than the uh, PT100, but as I said, my actual temperature probe, it is on the floor, is on a little bit closer to the floor, so the temperature is just, so I just lift it up, and so the temperature starts going up now. So what we're going to do in here, I'm going to put this one in there, I'm going to put my hand onto the K-type. So uh, and if you monitor and I'll have a look at it, so as you can see, the, the, the temperature starts changing. And as you can see, the digits are going up. Pretty cool. From there on, as you can see, I already put out the HMI K-type, ready for the HMI, uh, put, it, put it a signal onto the HMI, and uh, reading out temperature on there. I might do that in a future videos. So there we go. So I'm just holding, pretty much holding it in my hand at the moment. And that's it. So, uh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how the thermocouples are uh, done. So let me swap the cameras. And that will be it for this video. So uh, hopefully this is giving you some good ideas. As you can see, Schneider made it very super simple for you to use their analog cards. And then and, and I cannot stress enough how easy they have made this process and it looks like the guys have spent quite a lot of time into it and uh, and, and and put a lot of effort so 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 pretty much anybody can really easily access it and more or less use their cards without breaking a brain cells so that ladies and gentlemen will do thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video